come here if you want. Or if he's lonely now. <laughs> Okay, so I'll just go through this. You can have a look, you can have a go if you want, no hassle, just, just to show you so people like to say, oh, I've never seen a fire extinguisher news or whatever it may be. So, just with this, um, so when we're using a fire extinguisher, so what, how do we use it? EASS, without the. Okay. And people forget to do that. Yes, A, aim, S, squeeze, and then sweep from side to side. So, just one little tip, right? So, your service tag here, you can just pull that off. When you're pulling out the pin then on the extinguisher, right? Don't have this up here on your face, obviously like that girl did there and we're showing you. When you're pulling out the pin, what, what happens a lot of them is people have a deck grip on this and they can't pull out the pin. Flip up the top hand slightly and the pin will nearly fall out for you then. Oh. Okay, so that's ready to go now. So we'll just say, look, this paper here, and this is where our fire is. So take this out of the way here. Right. I'm using this on something um, electrical, we'll say. Right. I'm not going to use foam on it, white because it looks like this, yeah, because it's 95, 95 percent water and that. So, clean out, and go to a post fire like that. With this extinguisher then, stick to it because it does get very cold, yeah? So, fire, or just put your hand on the bottom here like this. Now, one thing I said to you inside about this is what? Watch out! Okay, so, yeah, so you now know if you use this that it's noisy, yeah? And look, there are a few people, about maybe one in ten people roughly, that you'd have in a course and get a shock from this. Like, a lot of people don't, so it depends on your runners, it depends on you with static and all that kind of stuff. So I just approach like this, and I, and I walk backwards. Why would I walk backwards? Because I just don't want it, just in case it's flared up. And just remember, look with the extinguisher, all this is for is something the size Know, of a waste paper bin or a smoldering socket or something like that as we said to you it's not for you coming along like you know dealing with a large fire or walking in with two extinguishers you know like john wayne saying let's go <laughs> right it's only for something to stop something taking off like that shot that time so look as i said to you it's just uh, for use on electrical fires and you can use this then you could use it on a fuel fire as well like your um your oils or solvents or petrol or anything like that yeah so do you want to have a go of it like the foreman as well you don't have to like but do you want to have a script Right. Then I'll make you take out the pin. Hey, you're there. You're bringing the handbag as well. <laughs> handbag, like it. <laughs> yeah, so, so flip up the top. Your right hand just flip up the top. Are you right handed? Yeah, so put your right hand on the handle. Off this, you know what I mean? It's fairly strong. All that is is dry ice, look. Carbon dioxide. There's no concentration as well. But you can asphyxiate, as I said, if you use it, if it's uh, in a very enclosed space, you take your breath away. Someone else want to go? Class A fires, class B fires, then would you be your fuse and your solvents and all that kind of stuff. So if you had, you know, a leakage of fuel or something, you could put this on it just to put a blanket of foam in it, yeah? And what does the foam keep away? What does it keep away from the fire? Oxygen, yeah, so it excludes one of the elements of the triangle of fire. So, same thing again, I just flip up the handle like this. Now, because generally people won't look at the gauge if they're in a rush to use an extinguisher, you should always just test it before you use it, yeah? So, just test it outside if it's like say in, in, in a different room or outside, just give it a squirt. And again, this is for something really small. Catch the end of the hose. You catch it back here, it can go anywhere. You catch the end of the hose, yeah? So I'll just approach again and push the fire like this. Yeah. Okay. So it's the same thing, so it's just like water from the floors. So if someone wants to have a go, they can. You're all very shy. Yeah? 
When they come along the next time, they'll be taking away the foam to come off there because the foam is gone. Right? So that's what you're washing up people, that's all that's going to be like that. But uh, once a year, now if they're using a the fire, obviously, then you tell someone that it's not been used, and then they'd have to come off and replace it straight away. Uh, and even a whole one, that's different than it. Yeah, like once once you use that, it's kind of. Yeah, no, you technically get someone to refill it. But if it's like CO2 or powder, it can be messy, alright, you know? Thank you, Jim. You're free to go. Thank you. 